So I haven't really like made any videos about like this specific topic. Usually when I make a video, it's because I saw a movie that I really liked and I want to talk about it or a trailer or, you know, a comic book or like something like that that I really want to talk about. Because like generally or music, you know, video video about music, like stuff that I really like. Uh, but I haven't really made a video about any sort of sports or anything. But I'm a big sports fan. Um, being from Dallas, like I love like the Mavericks and the Stars and the Cowboys and the Rangers. Like those are my teams. Uh, and, and I'm a big sports fan. Like, I get very invested in my teams and love my teams very much so. Uh, and the Mavericks being my favorite basketball team, uh, this week, uh, or last week, depending on when this video comes out, uh, my favorite basketball player of all time, my favorite, like, athlete of all time, retired from the, the sport of basketball, and that is the, the one and only Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, and I kind of wanted to talk about it because he was a very important um, person in uh, sort of like my entertainment life. Like I, I grew up watching Dirk play basketball and like I, that's he helped me sort of fall in love with. Uh, basketball uh, it was part of you know I mean I grew up playing basketball and and you know and I love Michael Jordan and Kobe and you know I grew up watching basketball and loving basketball and uh, but Dirk was always my man like he's my favorite because he he played for the home team and he was amazing and he was just this this really like humble and kind player and this very loyal guy but uh but he was also really freaking good and it was such an amazing experience to watch him throughout uh his career you know he's been playing since I was born you know like it's weird like his my entire life he has been playing for the Mavericks I've never watched the Mavericks when without Dirk having been on the team or even been his career you know it's just so it's crazy and so it's kind of a, a sad time to see him go and and um, of course, very excited for the future with Luka Doncic and, and all of that. But, you know, Dirk was Dirk was special. And a lot of my favorite athletes over the years have retired. Uh, and it's been sad to see him go. Uh, but nothing has hit me quite like Dirk's. I think it's just Dirk had been there for so long and he was always so loyal. I just always felt like he's not going to leave he'll never leave he'll never be he'll always be here uh because he was always there and you know um like i remember like almost it was four years ago uh people were talking about is dirk's gonna retire soon and like it was just i was like nah dirk's not gonna and like every year it was like oh dirk may retire this year and he just never did so it just kind of became like dirk's not gonna retire and you know and, and this year I, I went to the mavs game this year to see him play again and see luca play and I'm glad I did, so I could at least got to see him play live one last time before he retired. But it's, I don't know. It's just it's it's I he didn't he didn't say he was gonna retire at the beginning of the season. You know, it was in the air, and we sort of saw when he was going and visiting all these other teams that they were they were clapping for him and they were giving him ovations. It was very sweet. A lot of great like what Doc Rivers did when he played uh, when he, when they were playing against the Clippers was really cool of him. Uh, Boss, he gave him a standing ovation. I think uh, the Knicks gave him a standing ovation. Uh, a lot of teams did. The Spurs, uh, in his final game ever, final NBA game, gave him a great send-off, and they made a tribute video for him, which is very nice. Uh, especially since, you know, the Mavs and the Spurs haven't always gotten along, uh, but it was really cool. Um, I think even Miami made, like, a little thing with him and Dwayne Wade, who also retired, which was really cool because Dwayne, uh, because the Miami Heat and the Mavericks, we have we have some history. You know, we weren't always, we don't always like each other, so it was really cool to see that, uh, really respectful and awesome of them. But he played his final home game uh, against the Suns the other day, and they gave this, there's this great sort of retirement ceremony i guess where they where um you know charles barkley was there and uh, scotty pippen and you know a bunch of players showed up and jason terry and sean mary and a lot of guys from that championship 2011 team were there and it was just kind of this beautiful goodbye and like the fans packed it out and it was this you know larry bird was there it was just an amazing moment and um just to, just to see everyone kind of come together and say goodbye to one of the greatest Dallas athletes of all time, which is saying a lot because, um, you know, the Dallas area has had a lot of great athletes uh, throughout all their teams, whether it's Mike Madano or um, Roger Staubach or T uh, Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin, um, freaking uh, Tom Landry, a coach, but still, and he's uh, in that discussion, uh, 
Um, we've had a lot of great players in, in all of sports. Uh, but for me, Dirk is Dirk's the guy above all. It's, you know, uh, watching sports my entire life, I have a lot of awesome memories and a lot of terrible memories, uh, especially being a Cowboys fan lately. It's been rough. Uh, uh, but uh, the thing is, only two of my teams that I love have won championships in my lifetime. This Dallas Stars won the Stanley Cup in 99, and uh, the Mavericks won their championship in 2011. The Cowboys, who I love, uh, I missed all of their their championship runs. I haven't, I did, and I've never seen the Cowboys win a Super Bowl. Uh, it's happened, and I've gone back and I've watched like um, the, the like documentaries and those. I've watched those games. Like I've watched uh, the, the our, a lot of our Super Bowls over and over again growing up, just to see like the games and and I know like all of those players and all of the uh, and everything that happened in those seasons. But it's all in looking back. It's, it wasn't something I experienced uh, firsthand, like a lot of people. Um, and then even the Dallas Stars Stanley Cup, I was too young to experience that. I've watched that game. Uh, over and over again, you know, with the Brett Hole uh, put uh, um, that game-winning shot in overtime like that, that w- that was amazing. The 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 DVD like Stanley Cup uh, DVD thing uh, documentary that they did, I've watched thousands of times um, to to sort of experience. But the only one that I've ever experienced, uh, like I was actually there and old enough to know what was going on and was a huge fan, was that 2011 Mavericks team and. That's my favorite sports memory ever was winning. Because, like, people didn't... Like, the Mavericks were not, like, a team that people thought were going to win the championship. Like, it was... We were going to be against Miami Heat and the Big Three. It was LeBron and Wade and Bosh. And there's just no way that the Mavericks are going to win. And it was it was amazing. You know, we, had, we, 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 we swept the two-time defending champ Lakers. We, uh, we beat the... Durant, Westbrook, and James Harden Thunder, and then took out the LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh Heat. It was it was an amazing sort of time. It was just like it was like every single series I was like, you know what? At least we got this far, and then we would win. I'm like, oh my god! And it was it was amazing. And the watching that championship, I'd never been so stressed watching a sporting event than those six games in the NBA Finals that we played, and um, like and Dirk got sick. So I was just, oh my god, like I was so worried, and um, and it was kind of like what what happened uh, in two thousand and six when we played Miami again, when it was the Shaq and Wade, and we were up two and zero, and then we lost that, and you know Terry was there uh, then too, so it was just, it was it was an emotional time, but it was the most like gratifying like experience watching sports ever, seeing my team win the 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 biggest the biggest champ like just the the big trophy like to see them win. Um, in any sport, but to see my team and it'd be the Mavericks like win that way was was such an amazing experience. And uh, Dirk was the biggest part of that. Uh, as you know, he's been a, he's been. It's hard to put into words what he's meant to this franchise. I think he kind of is the franchise. You know, uh, and he's my favorite athlete in any sport, which like I said is saying a lot. But he's just he was special. You know, and. <sighs> It's just, it's, it's a bittersweet moment, you know. Um, I was kind of hoping he wouldn't retire, you know, like he was going to pull a, a Jordan Belfort from the Wolf of Wall Street and be like, I'm not freaking leaving. Uh, but uh, but he didn't, and he retired, and that was sad. But, you know, uh, what an amazing career he had. And I want to talk about it because he does that, that he does mean so much to me as an athlete and what he was able to accomplish and all the amazing memories he gave me. So thank you, Dirk Nowitzki. I know you're watching this video. I know you're subscribed to the channel, which means a lot to me, that you would sub- subscribe to my channel, of all things. But uh, but thank you for all of the amazing memories and all of the moments. Thank you for my greatest sports memory ever. Thank you for your loyalty, 21 years with the same team, especially in a time where, like, a lot of players don't stay with the teams that draft them, or at least the team they started playing with, like, it's 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 kind of amazing, and, like, you and Kobe are kind of, like, the last guys that may do that, uh, so it's, man, it's, it was, it's remarkable, and I thank you so much for being such an amazing stand-up player, like, of all the, I wouldn't trade you for anyone else, you were the best a uh, person I could have possibly picked to be my all-time favorite player, and it, it means a lot what you were able to accomplish here and what you meant to this franchise. And it's gonna be so weird uh, watching next season without him. You know, I've never watched the Mavericks without him, and like I said, very excited for 
the future with Luca and you know my teams my teams are doing too bad you know the stars are in the playoffs um we have a bright future for the Mavericks even though we did not play great this year at all uh the Cowboys made the playoffs we got pretty far you know we lost eventually but you know we got farther than we have in a bit so that was fun uh hopefully we are better next year but uh Super Bowl here we come uh but you know uh I just I want to talk about it because, like I said, Dirk has been a lot. He's my favorite athlete ever, and um, watching that ceremony, like, I got emotional. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so many amazing memories. Uh, child, like, that was the first jer- Like, I still have my jersey, my Dirk jersey from when I was a little kid. Uh, it was just, he's always been there, and he's always been that athlete that I, I when I was, when I started playing, like, little basketball when I was a little kid, uh, 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 we had to pick like we we got our jerseys and I wanted uh they didn't have forty one so I picked fourteen because it was the closest to his number and um that was just uh it was just he just always meant a lot to me and so it's sad that he's gone but he's not dead he's still alive live in a well and I'm sure he's still gonna be involved in the team of course but. He is retired. We won't see him play anymore, and it's a bummer. It's a bummer that athletes get to the point where they can't play anymore. Uh, it sucks, but it's a part of life. And he had an amazing career, the best. I love him. Love you, Dirk. And it was it was awesome watching you play. I don't know if I will ever have a sports memory that's meant more to me than that 2011 championship. I mean, even if we were to win next year, I would be ecstatic. We won't, but I would be in this, I would be ecstatic. Uh, the idea of that, but it wasn't the first time because 2011 was the first time that we that a team of mine had ever done that, and I've been able to witness it live happening, and it was it was truly amazing, you know. And like I said, the fact that he's my favorite uh, player shows how much he means because, like I said, we've had so many great players here. You know, I grew up watching you know Tony Romo, loving Tony Romo. And, you know, Des Bryant, Jason Witten, like all those Cowboys that I grew up watching play. You know, I, I wore a Drew Bledsoe jersey the day that my, my my brother was born when he played on the Cowboys. And I remember when Tony Romo started and I, I was always a strong Tony Romo defender. I had a Tony Romo, Tony Romo fathead on my wall uh, as a kid. And uh, Mike Madonna, I loved Mike Madonna. He was just, you know, when he retired, I remember watching that game, his last game and those, those posters that said, like, don't go Mo and... It was it was very sad, and he started crying. It was this beautiful moment, and I was like, man, this was so emotional. I'm probably never going to feel this type of emotion about a player ever again. And then here comes the Dirk with an even more emotional like goodbye, and it was amazing. But um, he is forever. He's forever the guy. He's forever the one that, that, that brought me the pure happiness of sports. And even though we only won one, that one means more than anything else. Uh, you know, it just... What a time. But so I guess I'll wrap it up because I'm kind of just rambling now. But I just wanted to say thank you to Dirk Nowitzki because he's my fave, man. He's the best. Uh, 41 forever. Uh, like they said, 41, 21, 1. 41, New Jersey number. 21, 21 years with the same team. And one for one team uh, as it was. But uh, thank you, Dirk. Thank you for being loyal. Thank you for, you know, playing my entire life, giving me that. Uh, 2011 championship thank you for making me love basketball even more uh, thank you for all of the amazing memories thank you thank you thank you uh, but yeah uh, what is your favorite sports memory if you want to make a conversation put it in the comment section below and, and talk about it and what is your favorite memory of Dirk if you watch basketball like what is a moment that you remember from Dirk because he's got so many incredible memories I mean he changed the game like big men didn't shoot like that before Dirk like he he really, he really changed things. He changed the game in a lot of ways. He was very important um, to the league, and he changed the league. And like Larry Bird said, cha- you want to you wanna make the game better when you leave than it was when you started. You know, leave the game better than it was when you first started. And I think Dirk did that very much so. But thank you guys for listening. Really appreciate it. And Dirk Nowitzki forever. Mavs fan for life. Uh, go Dirk. Love you, man. Thank you. Uh, see ya.